Hello everybody and welcome back. If you're new here, this is my 2000 Murray LT1000 wide body riding lawnmower. And obviously it's not a mower anymore. So to get you up to speed, what I've done so far is I pulley swapped the rear end, I flipped the rear axle, lowered the frame to about an inch and a half off the ground, raised the engine up and widened the body so it fits the new location of everything. Then installed a battery box on the rear end and last week we got our shifter and our brake lever back. So we're this close to being drivable. Today we're gonna to be working on exhaust and fuel. So I have somewhat of an idea of what I wanna do with the exhaust header and I wanna avoid bending at all costs. So I have a chop saw and a welder. I'm gonna chop myself a couple angled rings and I'll start out with a base plate and be able to stack those angled rings in a certain orientation so that it'll give myself a bend essentially without actually having to bend the pipe. I'm gonna come out of the exhaust port, go down between the frame and the steering linkage, and then come out to the footboard, turn, and kick it out right there. And hopefully I'll have room to put a muffler in line, but we'll just have to see how everything works out. So, first thing, let's get started with chopping up some pipe, and we're also gonna chop up our old muffler so I can get that plate that lines up with my exhaust port. I'm gonna work off of that plate and extend from there. So let's get right into it. All right, it may be hard to see, but I'm gonna do my best to show you here. So, this is our exhaust port, and this is our steering linkage. So I need to come out of the exhaust port and go right down into this gap right here. And on this side, it's gonna come down through between the frame and that steering linkage, and then over to this foot plate and kick it out and have our tip right around here. That's my plan and hopefully I'll be able to fit a, a, a muffler somewhere in right here or it may be just a muffler for a tip and then pop out right there. But I think we're just gonna have to play it by ear, see how it goes, start off with getting the header bolted on and get these pieces together and just see where we end up and what kind of space we're working with. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut my muffler open and see what I'm working with. This is the part that I really want. Uh, it's got the mounting holes. It fits with my exhaust gasket. So I wanna be able to salvage just this piece right here, this flat sheet metal with the two holes and this tubing coming out and get rid of everything else so that I can weld my pipe onto the backside where this muffler is and then be able to shape it as I go down the side of the mower. So let's get our grinder. We're gonna cut this in half and then see what we have to do to get that shape cut out right there. All right, so here's the good part of our muffler. This is the important stuff that we need. This jetted tubing section, that's gonna go inside the exhaust port, and then we'll have our two bolts going into the head. And right here is the face that we're gonna weld our pipe onto. So I'm gonna get my chop saw up here. I'm gonna cut one little section that's about an inch long just so I can get something welded onto this and get it started. And then I'll start chopping up some angled pieces and we'll get the mower up here and have them side by side and be able to tack a piece on, fit it on the mower, tack a piece on, fit it on the mower, until we get it all worked through and we're able to snake it in and out, everything should be fine. So, let's start cutting some pipe.
All right, step one completed. We got our first little one inch piece of tubing welded on to our exhaust plate with the tubing that goes inside the head. I tested it up on the head just to make sure it does go through, it does fit in there. And we'll have to take a file to the head side of this flange just to smooth it all out, make sure it seats correctly with our gasket on there. But otherwise, it should be all right. So, next thing I'm gonna do is chop up a handful of small angled pieces of this pipe, and those are gonna be tacked on to create a curve that will angle this down towards the ground so we can go in between the frame and the steering linkage. So here are the three pieces that are going to make up our 90 degree bend. We have a 22 and a half degree cut, two 22 and a half degree cuts, and one 22 and a half degree cut. So four times 22.5 is a 90 degree bend. I've done the math. Checks out. Weld them all together. We'll have our elbow. And then we can work on figuring out where it needs to align with our flange and get that tacked up. And then from there on out, it should be fairly easy. It's just figure out where I want it and make a couple of cuts, weld it together, be done with it. So let's put that into practice, see if it's really that easy. All right, so here's my elbow piece. Here's my flange. What I'm gonna do is get the flange in there first. And now I can put my elbow on there. And line it up right where I want it. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a Sharpie and I'm just gonna put one line across both pieces. So when I take it off to weld it, I can just line those Sharpie lines back up and put a tack. There we go, just like that, I'll be able to line my Sharpie marks back up and put a tack on it. All right, here's where we're at so far. We got our piece coming out of the head and curves down 90 degrees. So what I'm gonna do next is make the 90 that's gonna go down here and then the last 90 that's going to go right here. I'm going to make those next so that all I have to fill in are the straight gaps between this and there. And then out of this 90, I plan on just having a muffler. So we're getting there. It's coming along. Not too bad. Do two more elbows, two straight pieces, and a muffler. Easy peasy. All right, so here's my first elbow piece. And it's going to go pretty close up to the frame right here. And what I'm going to do is take a Sharpie and mark on this flat strap piece where the top of my elbow is. Then I'll be able to hold this header piece in position and measure from the bottom of this pipe down to my Sharpie mark. And then I'll make one straight cut piece that will join those two together. Once I get that tacked on there, I'm essentially going to do the same thing with my elbow right here and I'll make a mark, measure from the exit of this to the entrance of that, cut one more straight piece and tack that together. And then I should be ready for my muffler to just weld right onto the end of this. I want the exit of this elbow to be right about the center line of my frame right here. So I'm gonna make a mark right there and we'll be in the ballpark. Now, I got my flange piece up there. And that is four and a quarter inches to the Sharpie mark. So let me cut a straight four and a quarter piece and then I'll be able to tack that onto here, tack my elbow onto the bottom of it, and then we'll keep working. All right, we've got our four and a quarter inch piece welded on there. 
And now I'm going to index my second elbow. I just need to place it up here. And just like I did with the other piece, I'm going to mark a line with a sharpie. That way I can align them back up when I go to tack. Alright, now let's get that tacked up. I'm worried at some point we're going to not be able to snake this through between the steering linkage and the frame. But I'm building it so that it at least fits between there when it's all together. And if we need to disconnect this steering linkage to get it on, and then we can reconnect it, that'd be fine. It's not going to be a regular remove and replace kind of thing. So, let's get this next elbow tacked on there, and then we'll see how we're looking. Alright, let's try this piece out. I don't really like that too much. It seems to be kicking out towards the outside of the tire here, and I don't want it to get into my tire when I make a full turn. So I'm going to break these two tacks loose, rotate it a couple degrees, and then I'll tack it back together. We'll try again. All right, I only put one tack on there this time just in case. Let's see how it works. And that was a little too much. All right. We'll find the sweet spot right in the middle. All right, I got my fingers crossed that the third time is in fact the charm. And yup. Yes! It sure is. So that's it right there. We just need to come over 90 degree out. Easy peasy, right? Not interfering with anything. Sweet deal. All right. So now we need to get this elbow piece about where we want it. Something like that. And I'm going to make a mark on the frame where the edge of it is. And somewhere right around there. And now I can measure from the end of this elbow to my Sharpie mark. And that is six inches so let's go to six inch straight piece tack that onto here tack the elbow onto that and we'll be just about set with our exhaust outside of running full beads on all of our sections and adding a muffler to the end of it all right one tack on let's do a test fit Alright, that looks pretty awesome. I think we're ready to start putting some full welds on this thing. And good news, it snakes in and out without having to remove anything. So, I should go through, put a full weld on all these joints, find a muffler to weld on at the end of it, and that'll be it for the exhaust side. Pretty exciting. Here's our almost finished exhaust. It's looking great. We've got all the right bends in the right spots. Got our welds cleaned up. I tested it, it holds air, and we're looking great. The only problem I'm having is our flange right here. When I welded it on, I went too fast. A little too hard, too fast, and it warped quite a bit. It was already thin to begin with, but as soon as I started welding on it, it really warped it out of shape, and it's not flush. It's not gonna sit flat against the head anymore. So to solve that, I got some of this eighth inch by three inch flat strap. I traced out my exhaust gasket and I don't have a hole saw which would be ideal to get this center piece cut out. 
So instead, I'm gonna take a cutoff wheel on my grinder. I'm gonna chop this down to a more manageable size, cut it in half lengthwise right here. And then I'll take my grinder and make a bunch of short straight cuts in there and then be able to bend and break those out, clean it up with the grinding wheel and then weld these two pieces back together with this hole in the center open. And then I can drill out my two mounting holes and then cut out the shape of the actual exhaust flange. Once I get that out of there, I'll be able to weld it right here. I'm just gonna stack it on top of this and put a couple tacks to hold it in place. And then our exhaust gasket will go on, seal everything together, and we should be good to go back on with our exhaust. So let's do that. All right, here's our finished exhaust header. It's looking great. We've got a nice beefy flange up here, so it's not gonna warp and let exhaust slip by. We've got all of our welds cleaned up, everything holds air, and that's very exciting. I didn't find the exact muffler I wanted, so I'm gonna hold off on that for now. We'll just run an open header. We'll get this thing fired up and just make sure everything's working. And then I can really look for the one that I wanna put on here. So let's get some bolts. We'll bolt this back up onto the block and start working on the fuel. All right, now that we've got the mower back up here on the table, I got the intake pulled off, both of our gaskets scraped off, the surface is cleaned and everything's ready to go. I'm gonna go back on with the exhaust first so I can get in here and reach the bolts pretty easily. And I made some indexed washers to help even out the stress on the exhaust gasket. So let's get that on first and then we'll get the intake back on. We got a new gasket in the header. All right, we got it all bolted up, and there is no clearance issues. That's fantastic. We've got our intake back on. So let's burn through hooking all of our connections back up on the carburetor, the throttle. I'm gonna pull this top off, throw the gas tank in there, hook up the gas lines, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm pretty excited. All right, well, we got everything buttoned back up. We've got our exhaust on, got our intake back on, got our choke linkage all hooked up, throttle linkage is all hooked up. Everything's ready to go, gas tank reinstalled. So let's throw some gas down it, give it a little choke, and crank it over and see what happens. All right, open my valve. We should have gas flowing into the carburetor. I got my battery charger on so we can crank it over. And as long as it fires off pretty quick, we should be all right. 
Go full choke. Let's see. All right, weak battery. We'll let it sit for a minute. We'll try it again. I'm gonna give it a little starting fluid to help it kick over. Since it's cranking slow, this should help it fire right up. All right, let's try it now. I think that was just burning off the starter fluid. Let's see, try to get it to run. Well, we got it up and running again, and that is extremely exciting. The noise level out of that header is beyond obnoxious, so I definitely need to figure out the muffler situation. My question for you is, do I go with a standard Briggs & Stratton tubular style muffler, or try to find an aftermarket dirt bike, mini bike muffler? Let me know down in the comments what you think. Otherwise, if you like what you see, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you on the next video.